This is Mike from Devil Driver, and you're watching Ramzine. Vicky of Ramzine, I'm here at Download Festival with Mike of Devil Driver. How are you today? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Last interview of the day, and it's been a long weekend. Night, yeah. <laughs> but it's been great, and the rain hasn't um, really come. And usually it's Dr yet. Drownload Festival, but this year it's pretty clear. The last time we were here, it was it was pretty bad. Yeah. And it's very muddy. <laughs> It usually is, and people expect that, but you know, we like a bit of sunshine too, so that's yeah. good. Um, how did you find your set today at Download? It was great. It was only, we, we just got here, so I know you yeah. feel like you're done. Yeah. We just, we just got started. You just got started. So we started in Zurich, we played Download Paris yesterday, yeah. and it, when you come over from the States, it's the jet lag, everyone's tired, everyone's a little cranky, things yeah. go wrong, and but today was finally the day where we really felt locked in and yeah. like, okay, Okay, found our groove and things are going to be awesome from here on out. Did you have out. a good crowd? Yeah. yeah. And everyone has been telling me how much, uh, how big the pit was and everything yeah. like that. I'm too busy playing guitar. I hardly ever look up at the crowd. Yeah. I suppose that's what it's all about, people enjoying themselves in the crowd. Yeah, everyone looked like they were having fun. The last time I saw you guys was at Metal Days in Slovenia. That was really, and that, that, was, that was the first day of the tour too. Was it? It was. Have you been going since then? Uh, touring? No, 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 no. That was that was last year. Yeah. Yeah. That would but have been a long stretch. Long stretch. <laughs> no, no, no. We've been home. Yeah. But uh, no, it was that was a really good crowd, and I remember showing up to that that venue, and we had, we had done Metal Days once before, and it was yeah. great. But uh, when we first got there, things looked a little like I don't know what's gonna happen this year, and then by the time we went on, it was just like, damn. Yeah. And. Uh, I was just—I still have a picture on my phone that someone took from uh, up, like up in the mountains, yeah. up on the hill. And uh, there's just so many people. I, when I got done with that show and I looked at how many people were there, I had no idea. Yeah, there's loads of people there, and I love that festival because it's a beach. You got a beach yeah. there and the lake, and you just don't get that anywhere else, especially not in the UK. Where yeah, and the dressing rooms great. have some uh, some history to it as oh, well. Yeah? yeah. Do you tell? <laughs> okay. Well, not to confirm and start rumors, but what I heard was that it uh, used to be a casino run by the mob that also used to be a brothel. Okay, interesting. We'll find out this year if it's true or not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you you can investigate. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm looking forward to Mail Days again this year. It's always a good one. Um, so, yeah, last time I spoke to you guys, um, you were just, I think, it was just before you released your new album. Uh, trust no one. Yes. Um, how have things been since then? How did you find the reaction to the release of the album? Uh, I was extremely happy because mainly this is the first time in the history of the band I got to take on the role as the main songwriter. Yeah. And um, I'm gonna brag for a minute. Do it. But yeah. we sold a thousand more records than we did on the last one, okay. and uh, I I had a number in mind that was. Honestly, three to four hundred units less, or three to four thousand units less, and I'm like, if we get this, I'll be happy. Yeah. So when I found out we suppressed the last record, because people aren't buying records like they used to, yeah, you know, yeah. and they're just they're using Spotify. I use Spotify. I hardly ever buy a CD. Yeah. So I expected things to go down, just and uh, maybe I shouldn't do that, but I did. Yeah. But when I saw that it was more, I I couldn't be happier. Yeah. It's definitely an awesome day. That is, that is really awesome. Um, so, tell us about uh, why you chose to name it Don't Trust Anyone. That's a Des question. That? I, I really, <laughs> I, I worked on the music for a long time and uh, Des blew his, his voice out, uh, I think on day one or two, mm -hmm. and he had to, had to rest it. And I had some time free that I was going to go down there and do, uh, work on some vocals with him, but yeah. uh, he had to take a break, let his vocals heal, and by that time I was on a surf trip in Australia, oh, so nice. I wasn't I wasn't home for the, uh, yeah. any of the vocals or any of the vocal writing, anything like that. I was just like, dude, cool. I, I've worked my ass off on this for two years. Yeah. I'm done. Here you go. And him and Mark Lewis just went. I'm just just make sure it's good. That's quite efficient. Yeah, like just do your thing. Yeah. Like I know it does. Does we've been working. 
working together for 13 years. And it's so. ironic because that's you like really trusting him. Like you're yeah, trusting each other. and <laughs> when I the very first song I heard with vocals on, which the song I was like the most concerned about is the opening track, Testimony of Truth. Yeah. And that was the first one I heard, and I I think that Des sounds better on on that song than he does on any other song he's ever done. So I, once yeah. I heard that, I was just like, well, that's good. killer. You guys are in a really good place. Just released a really great album um, and download festival. How would you explain your uh, lifestyle at the moment? My lifestyle? Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty chill, actually. Yeah, you know, yeah. um, I, I really don't drink like I used to. I'm 36 yeah. now. Yeah. Um, I got really back into surfing about six or seven years ago and yeah. that's kind of taken a major priority in my life yeah back home so i'm healthier a little skinnier yeah. um and not drinking as much and yeah. i just you know just kind of enjoying life i got my own studio at home right now which is i think i've had it for about three or four years now and i just absolutely love it having a place where i could just sit and record and not disturb my neighbors yeah. not disturb my roommates is life is life is pretty awesome for me right now